answer to the question, what happened to the Mars atmosphere, I'll quote Bob Dylan. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The Mars has something in common with the Earth and the other planets, and that, of course, is the influence of the sun. As you see in both of these graphics, all of the planets, uh, Mars and Earth and the others included, are uh, impinged upon by this flow of charged particles from the sun that we call the solar wind. Uh, these charged particles stream out from the sun at about a million miles an hour, and they impact all of the planets in our solar system. Now, the Earth and Mars have something that is very different, however. As you see on the right panel of this graphic, the Earth has a strong global magnetic field, and that magnetic field largely shields its atmosphere from the direct impact of the solar wind. Uh, on the left, on the other hand, Mars has no such global magnetic field, and its upper atmosphere lies completely exposed to the solar wind. As a result, the solar wind can interact with that upper atmosphere and strip portions of it away into space. We are looking at the solar wind hits the Martian atmosphere, and it also carries a magnetic field with it. The moving magnetic field will generate an electric field uh, in the upward direction in this video. And this will cause the um, planetary ions to move and escape from Mars. Uh, most of the stripping by the solar wind at Mars was thought to have taken place very early in the history of the solar system when the sun was much more active, when the solar wind was more intense. Uh, so today the rate of loss at Mars is low. Uh, today's planet is a cold, dry, desert-like environment. The atmosphere is thin. It's not capable of sustaining liquid water at the surface today. It would either freeze or evaporate very quickly. However, when we look at ancient Mars, we see a different type of surface, one that had uh, valleys that looked like they were carved by water, lakes uh, that were standing for long periods of time. We see an environment that was much more able to support liquid water. The NASA Mars Exploration Program has been focused on finding water. Water is the prime ingredient needed for life. It is a major factor in the climate and shaping geology and is a critical resource for future human exploration. Can the same kinds of things happen to Earth now or in the future? And uh, the answer is mostly yes. Earth is losing atmospheric particles. Uh, but as Jasper said, Earth has a big global magnetic field that shields the atmosphere from the solar wind. So some methods, some pathways that particles can take to escape the atmosphere of Earth are, are basically choked off compared to Mars.